Oh, beautiful. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Lionel Messi strikes in 22 and Stanislav Chakarov has the lead. Hello my friends, what's up, WikiBG here and of course it's time for another FIFA 16 tutorial on my channel. Today I will show you the best possible player instructions and custom tactic for the 4-5-1 attack formation after the patch. If you enjoy my FIFA 16 tutorials then show me your amazing support, hit that like button and subscribe for my channel. Now it's time for the lesson, have fun. As I said we will use the 4-5-1 attack formation and you can see it on the screen. It's time for the player instructions. Of course we will put to all of our defenders stay back while attacking and normal interceptions like that they will stand on their original positions and you will have pretty good defense. The bad thing is that we have no any central defensive midfielders and only one central mid so we will use for him stay back while attacking and aggressive interceptions. Like that he will try to help to your defense as much as possible but also when you choose your player for that position look for someone with a good stamina otherwise you will be forced to change him around minute 65. About our wings here we will need some defensive support because this is pretty pretty attacking formation that's why we will use the comeback on defense player instructions for both of them. I've tried many different player instructions for the attacking midfielders guys but for me there is nothing better than the default setting so don't change anything here. As always we will put get him behind for our striker and with that player instruction he will make as much as possible runs behind our opponent's defenders every time when we are attacking. Let's talk about the best custom tactic for that formation. On speed we will put 65, believe me you don't need higher numbers here because you have many attackers and this is completely enough for your attacks. Of course 50 on passing for a mixed style of passes and the positioning is organized otherwise if you choose the free form option your defenders will not stand on their positions and they will make really stupid runs. We are always using the same numbers on chance creation but if you are new watching my FIFA 16 tutorials for first time and don't know why then check the first link in the description. And the custom tactics for our defense, on pressure we will use 30, not so big numbers here but of course there is a reason for that. Our formation is so attacking and we cannot afford to put higher numbers. 80 on aggression like that your players will be so so aggressive and much better at takeoffs and the team with is 50 because with that formation we need a balanced positioning for our players and the defender line is covered. You know my opinion about the offside trap, for me that option is one big joke and if you apply it you will have big problems in defense and there will be many gaps between your defenders. That was my FIFA 16 formation review about the 4-5-1 attack formation after the patch failures. I hope that it will be helpful for you and as always if you have any questions or requests just write your comments down below. By the way I've prepared pretty interesting tutorials for you like FIFA 16 attacking tutorial after the patch and also FIFA 16 finesse shot tutorial after the patch and if you want to watch them as soon as possible then destroy the like button and subscribe for my channel. Team Wiki is waiting for you. My name is Taz, thank you so much for watching my friends, bye bye. What's up my friends, WikiBG here and today I will show you the best possible penalty shot in FIFA 16. I'm sure that after watching this video you will score like 99% of your penalties.